நீயில்லாத நாளல்ல நாளாகுமா நீயில்லாத வாழ்வல்ல வாழ்வாகுமா Hebrews chapter 12 verse 5 See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance rights as the oldest son. Esau was a godless man. It means he was far away from God and his will. He was a godless man. His ways were not of God. Of all the men in the Bible, we can't find a man as pathetic as Esau. Mainly it's because of two reasons. First, though he was born into a good family, he became godless in his life. He became alien to God. He lived a life that was not pleasing to God. He was dejected. From this, we should understand that we may be born in a Christian family. We may be from a spiritual family. Our parents may be spiritual. Or we could even be born in a family that does ministry. But remember, our birthplace cannot guarantee a prosperous and meaningful life. It depends on how we live in God and His ways. Our blessing depends on how aligned our heart is with the Lord. Be it elders or youngsters, we must reconcile and rejuvenate our relationship with God. If you are in your best form of relationship with God, He will always do what is best for you. Let's go back to Isa. Yes, he was a pathetic man. The second reason is he lost his inheritance. In those days, the elders will get a double portion of the father's blessing. But Isa gave it up after all for his due. Even today, there are a lot of people who lose their big blessings by running behind the small and temporary pleasures of the world. For the sake of small pleasure, for the sake of some videos on Facebook and WhatsApp, for the sake of some filthy pornography, people fall short and miss their biggest joy and blessing. They lose sight of the big picture. They miss what matters the most. So we must make sure that we don't lose out on our blessings like those people. Let the life of Esau sound as a warning to us. Let us examine and consecrate ourselves and live a holy life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God bless you.